Hello again. Uh, today's project is going to be a jewellery stroke trinket box, if you like, and I'm going to make it out of a piece of um, sycamore, and I'm going to do an ebony finial. Uh, we'll see how that comes along. Um, I think it's very fitting to uh, give my commiserations to all the English turners out there who follow the rugby uh, because Wales absolutely hammered you yesterday and uh, 30 points to 3. Um, it's a great shame that England didn't win the Grand Slam um, but Wales won the competition so it was a, it was a great great day. Unfortunately I didn't see it um, live because I was out out and about but uh, nevertheless it was a good result for Wales but on a serious note, commiserations to England, you shouldn't have been on the pitch. Anyhow, um, I'll carry on now I think, before I lose too many subscribers, um, and we'll get on with the box. So I'll see you over at the lathe. Okay, we're at the lathe now, and I've got a piece of ebony um, in my small gripper jaws, and from this I'm going to turn the finial. I'm going to turn the finial first, put a small tenon on the base of it and then that will dictate the final shape of the lid of the, um, the jewellery box I'm going to be doing. Just sand this up. Uh, just finishing off now with uh, 600. And then we'll, then I'll put the sanding sealer mix on. Well, that's sanded up now to 600. I think that's just about, just about fine. There you go. It's a very, very dinky little finial, but uh, nevertheless it's going to be a dinky little box.
Okay, so we've got to put a tenon on the other side as well. Right, I've sanded through the grits uh, from 180 up to 600, put one coat of sanding sealer on, rub it back after it's dried, apply another coat of sanding sealer mix, um, again let it dry, rub it back with 000 wire wall and then apply two coats of wax, which will be the last coat of wax. Bit of CA glue and place the finial in there. I'll be back in a minute. There's the lid of the finial. Right, so now I'm going to do the body of the of the box. the inside to the depth I wanted. I hollowed it out with um, a, a half inch spindle gouge and then uh, used a square end scraper just to get the wall um, vertical for a small point before I went in to round off the bottom and uh, that'll be sanded now through the grits up to 600 and then finished with the usual two coats of Sunny the sanding sealer mix and and wax, two coats of wax, and I'll come back when that's finished. Again now for the last coat of wax for the final buffing and turn the revs up a bit. Give it a really good polish.
the inside is finished and uh, we'll carry on with the body now. So that's the shape I'm going to go with um, and they'll sand up now um, through the through the grits up to 600 and then I'll come back when I'm putting the last coat of wax on. And what I'm going to do is to take this truck off and uh, put my um, button jaws on to reverse mount this just to finish off the bottom. No need for a jam chuck there because um, the button jaws should take that quite nicely just to finish off the base. And there's the finished piece and the grain lines up rather nicely and it came out rather nice. A little bit of detail on the on the base and not a loose fitting but not, not, not a suction fit just plops on the top there so you can get your trinkets and what have you on the inside. There we go, I'll put a few photographs up at the end. And thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers now.